gluten-free, but Nick is allergic to eggs, and so I'm going to try to make some fried okra using applesauce in replacement for the eggs. I don't see how this is going to go, but I'm using a, I like to use a really good fine flour for my first coating, um, and this is a gluten-free pie crust, and it has rice flour, potato starch, tapioca, um, flour, sugar, rice bran, sea salt, and xanthan gum. I'm going to mix them in that first and then put them in the applesauce and then into the cornmeal and then into the deep fryer. So, not until I went gluten free did I realize that um, these rice flours are so much more fine grain than, than just regular wheat flour and they work so well for breading. Um, my okra, my green tomatoes, everything that I fried with the gluten-free method using the gluten-free flours um, have come out so much better than I ever in the past. I, um, I always had my breading fall off and with the gluten-free, nope, doesn't do it. So let's see if this works. So, it seems like I'm not sure if this applesauce is going to work, but we'll see. So, this is what we're getting. Um, and it seems like it's all going on there real good and sitting. So, let's see how it fries up. They're coming out pretty good. But also, while I'm making this video, I also wanted to talk about something that's kind of bothered me and why not do it while I'm making something gluten free. Anyways, the other day when I was driving down the road, I saw a bumper sticker that said, I love gluten. And I kind of need that bumper sticker because I love gluten. Whenever um, I was a kid, one of my, ma my main staples of my diet was frozen waffles. Um, I love donuts. I love yeast rolls. I love all sorts of breads. My uncle used to visit us from Texas and he would bring us some um, jalapeno and cheese bread. It was amazing. I see it in the in the um, the bakery section sometimes and I wish I could have it so much because I love so many things that are made with with gluten. And it bothers me because now the gluten thing, so many people were, were jumping on the gluten, um, gluten free stuff as a diet, just kind of like Atkins diet and things like that. And now gluten free has sort of become this joke and it really, really pisses me off because for people who have an allergy, it's an actual, it's an actual thing. This is something medical. You wouldn't make fun of somebody who was allergic to eggs and you wouldn't make fun of somebody who's allergic to shrimp. You, you know, you wouldn't joke about those allergies, but yet gluten now has become the butt of jokes. You know, people talking about, um, they love their gluten and stuff. I love gluten, man. I miss so many things. And sometimes I have a weakness, especially for like breaded chicken sandwiches. Um, and, and sometimes I end up getting a donut anyways and eating it and then being severely sick for three days. Um, because, you know, I want to play into, oh, it's just, you know, it's nothing. And I feel so good for so long. And then I'll eat something with wheat in it or with gluten in it. And then I'm, I'm so sick and I feel so horrible that I made the mistake of doing that. But I just wanted to say that because it's kind of getting on my nerves that people joke about it. So now it's becoming a thing where, you know, in a restaurant you ask for gluten free stuff and then people want to, you know, laugh at you like it's nothing. And I'm sorry, but it is something and it is an allergy just like any other allergy that other people have. My allergies are green beans, which is horrible. That includes soy, soybeans. It's in the same family. Um, chickpeas, you know, I can't have hummus anymore. 
Um, ginger, ginger is really difficult to um, keep out of your diet. And along the same family line of ginger is um, turmeric. And so I can't have things that have turmeric in it. Um, sadly, there's a lot of um, ingredients that list spices. And so I don't really know. I can just take a, um, a chance and hope that those spices don't include turmeric. But most of the time they do. Turmeric's used for a lot of coloring. Especially now that coloring is going out. Um, and so I've, I've just had to deal with the aftermath of that. And then a lot of times I just avoid things that have just spices. Instead of telling me exactly what it is that they have in the ingredients. But... Um, I just wanted to say that little thing. That's my little rant. It just kind of gets on my nerves about the whole gluten-free thing. So many people want to make fun of it like it's nothing. And, and again, it just pisses me off because, you know, I wish I could have a donut. I wish I could have a cupcake at a birthday party or a slice of a nice, beautiful chocolate cake and stuff like that. But I have to deal with the aftermath if I do do that. And I'm afraid one day, you know, it may be come a severe allergy um, reaction and I, I don't want to slowly bring myself into that by slowly exposing myself over and over again to gluten um, because you never know when your body's going to react violently um, and you may go into anaphylactic shock or something. Um, sometimes I'm kind of scared that people tell me it's gluten free and they, they weren't very um, adamant about making sure that there was no cross-contamination and they don't really care much because they don't think that it's really an allergy or something and and then that it might have it in there you know I don't know but anyways these are coming out really nice I can't wait to put some in the deep fryer and see how they do Alright, so here we go. See how these things hold up. We're gonna see. Alright, after a couple of minutes, they are floating to the top and getting good and brown. And it looks like they held together very, very well. Nick is gonna be super excited to have some fried okra with his egg allergy, which is pretty sweet. I'm excited. Love some okra. <laughs> 